Right, morning chaps and chapettes and lads and laddies. No. Yeah, anyway. Um just uh I'm just redoing the video of uh of my um um supposed speeding uh in Havercroft in West Yorkshire. Um the video wasn't very clear because I was looking at the I was shining the camera at the um laptop and it was a bit distant so i can only do that so i'm doing it again but i've managed to get a closer um shot so i'll do a spinneroo okay right so this is this is just leaving royston so i'm behind three cars we're doing just under 30 everybody's keeping to the to, to just under the limit nice and steady and um, the car at the front, the third car, or what third car away, um, when we get to the uh, national speed limit and or 60 zone, he, he's off. And he's off doing the speed limit, I'm guessing. Uh, the two cars in front, I, excel I start to accelerate as we go through the, into the 60 zone and, and realise that they've, they've picked up maybe three mile an hour. They're doing... They're now up to 32, and I know they're doing 32 because I, I looked down and thought, why are we doing 32 in a 60? Well, it becomes apparent they're not in any rush to get to where they want to get to. Not that you need to be in a rush. They just, you know, don't really care about who's behind. So the car in front of this white car, I can see uh, quite clearly from my view um, that he's going to turn right because he starts to indicate in, in plenty of time. Um, the white car isn't indicating, uh, so I'm just following these two. They're turning the 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 black car is indicating right to go to Havercroft, and at uh, this point now, like 10, 20 feet from the junction, the white car indicates. Just bad driving, but you know, seems to be a thing these days. So we go. Uh, I go past them. I'm in first gear. Off I go. Start to accelerate. It's a bit windy-ish. Um, not too windy. But there's a bend at the bottom in my particular vehicle, which is a four-wheel drive Daihatsu Terios. You can't you can't fly because you, you it's just um, not that sort of vehicle. So get to the bend here and... Right. This long stretch up to Havercroft, 60, three-quarters of the way up, more than three-quarters of the way up. Um... And as you get to Havercroft, it drops to 30, obviously, because it's a residential area. So I'm going up this road at, um, I don't know, probably 50, maybe 55, no more than that. Where this white, oh, this car comes past. And then just as this white van comes into, into sort of visible sight, it's the 30 signs. Now, at 55, 60 mile an hour, um, I'm, what am I? I'm about um, 100. 100 yards away, no more than that. Um, I start braking, so I'm slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. This is the 30, and oh, I'll rewind that slightly. Right, so we're at the 30 side, right? I'm, I'm braking, and you'll see um, the unhappy face on the orange sign just beyond. So that's about 50 yards beyond. So I, the unhappy face is because I'm doing over 30 mile an hour. As I go through 30 mile an hour, as I go through the 30 sign, within one second, if you count, um, 30, 1,001, and it's off. Right. So I'm just rewinding it slightly, get a, and I can get a pause on it. Right, it's gone off, right? So within, oh, I don't know, 25 feet of the uh, 30 side. I'm, I'm down to 30 mile an hour because that's why it's gone off. There you see, gone, right? So I carry on up the hill, as you do. What I don't uh, realise, uh, what I don't realise initially, is this car parked up on the top, sort of only half visible because it's, 
again I'll go back to a little bit as you're coming up you'll see that you can only see part of it because it's hidden by the raised ground in front of it or al alongside it should I say because it's parked sideways on so you'll see raised ground on the right hand side as you get closer even more raised and he's actually reversing so I don't know what point he got his camera out because I didn't see no, any camera but he, he's got a no he ain't got a camera he's just got one a speed trap thing so don't think anything of it because I'm going nice and steady off I go down into uh, into Havercroft now I rarely come this way I usually go on the uh, Hemsworth bypass because it's um it's a 60 zone all the way through much better road no traffic lights none of this speed calming thing which is uh, which is there for a reason there's a school 20 mile an hour zone um, but Avacroft's got all these, yeah, they've got loads of these traffic calming things and speed bumps. Uh, and there's often roadworks here. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's because it's an old village or what, but it's just always got roadworks. So I avoid it. Um, and I'm usually not coming this direction. It's it's rare that I'm coming from uh, Royston to, uh, towards home. So I'm going down here and I can see the, police car about two or three cars back I think it was two cars between us but uh, down here they turn off and um, still thinking nothing of it now there's a slight rise here as we go over an old railway bridge as you can't tell it's an, oh you can just about tell it was a railway anyway it was a railway bridge there go, going over that and then you put some blues and twos on so I pulled into this gap just so they could go past but they're not going past so I have to pull further in and over and they uh, and they explain why they've stopped me. They've stopped me for what they say. I was doing forty two mile an hour. Um, I don't don't believe them. Don't think it's it's accurate. From that sort of distance, the uh, the smiley face thing um, switched off within fifteen twenty feet of the 30, 30 side. So I was doing thirty at that point. I don't think I could shed. That sort of speed without locking up in the wet in a four-wheel drive with uh, off-road tyres. No, I don't think so. So I think I'm going to go to court on this. But um, I would like some advice from anybody out there that uh, uh, has dealt with this sort of thing. Um, I think uh, it was very unfair. Unfair. Anyway, any thoughts would be handy. Um, let me know in the comments or message me or you've seen my phone number on my other videos so just whatever and uh, take care um, subscribe and like if you don't mind please thank you and I'll see you in the next over and out